Andrew and Laurie. What brings you here? I love Icelandic music. So my favourite artists in Iceland are Stebi Hilmarsson, Evi Kristjansson or Eithar Inki. So to have the opportunity to come here and see both Stebi and Evi together is fantastic for me. And this is, what, your fourth time in Iceland? Fourth time in, fourth time in Iceland this year. So I've seen many concerts already this year. So, for example, we saw the Icelandic Music Awards in March in Harpa. Then we saw uh, Skon Rock in Harpa in April. And then we saw the Meatloaf concert that's going on in Hof at the moment. We saw that in Harpa in May. And now we're coming here to see Stebi and Avi in September. That's amazing. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you also love Icelandic music. He does now. I do now. <laughs> There's nothing in our house apart from it. <laughs> really? <laughs> from 5.30 in the morning when the alarm goes off and bil billion, billion goes on oh, on inter billion. internet radio <laughs> to the end of the day when she's still listening to it. Yeah, yeah. I sit at work with the earphones on and the computer and I listen to Raustva uh, on the internet at work and then I come home and I listen to Billion. I'm in absolute awe. It's amazing. <laughs> and I want to learn the language. As I say, I love Icelandic pop music and rock music. And the thing that really annoys me is that I couldn't understand the lyrics. So when I come to Iceland, I buy the CDs. They have the lyrics inside. And so I sit at home with a dictionary and I try to translate everything. So I use Stebi and Evi, for example. I use their lyrics to help me learn the language. So I've translated all of their, their songs and Saul and Hans Jons means as well. And and so was it Icelandic music that got you learning Icelandic yeah. or yeah, the other yeah. way around? Icelandic music. As I say, I really wanted to understand the lyrics that I was, I was hearing. And so I thought, OK, I'm just going to have to learn to, 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 to understand the language. But when, when did you realize that? When did you first hear an Icelandic song or an Icelandic band? And, and what was it? Would you believe it was your Eurovision Song Contest entry 2013 with Aether Inki Jäger Leaf? Okay, and is yeah. that like your... That was the hook. That was the hook, was the your hook. first love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but since then it's just exploded, so uh, I just love it, so it's good. Okay, and so when did you hear about Graine Hatterin, and why are you here in Akureyri now? Mm. Well, a friend of ours we met in March, uh, he is the son of one of your singers, Oskar Pietersson, mm. and uh, he says, he, he came from Akureyri, and he says, if ever you come here, you have to come to the Graine Hatterin. So we thought, okay, September is a good month to come to Iceland too. Before the snow, we'll drive to Akureyri. And we thought, okay, we'll come to the Graine Hatterin if we can. So... Yeah, I think so. I mean, how did Andrew and Lori? How did they begin this? It started with the fact that they sent me a tele post. What were they going to wear? That's how they came to Helgi. And they were going to wear both first and last. And so for the first time, they were going to wear both first and last. And so for the first time, they were going to wear both first and last. And so for the first time, they were going to wear both first and last. And so for the first time, they were going to wear both first and last. And so for the first time, they were going to Þá kom það í ljós að það var sko Sálin eða Stebbi Hilmas og Eyjólu Kristjánsson og svo nefndi hún einhver fleiri nöfn. Og ég þá bara heyrði Stebba og Eyva og spurði hvort að þeir væru til í að koma og sendi þeim svo hluta af þessum pósti sem ég fekk frá þeim og þeir voru til. Og þannig að ég varð að þeir að óska for their report, uh, the Kamian Tlakur. And how special do you feel? Oh, uh, this <laughs> does not happen in England. This is unbelievable. So I uh, thank you, Hoiker. <laughs> <laughs> and you were telling me earlier that in, in you were uh, comparing that, you know, if you'd call the O2 in London, yeah. that, would, that wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen. You know, no. you don't ring the guy at the O2 arena in London and say, could you book Robbie Williams and George <laughs> Michael or something? And he'd go, yeah, OK, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a, a, an expression in English that says, if you don't ask, you don't get. So uh, that's my motto in life. You never know. Mother veit aldrei. Mother veit aldrei. And do you know how to say the, uh, the other one? Can you remember? Oh, þú færið ekki nema að spyrja. Þú færið ekki nema að spyrja. Frábært. And um, are you uh, a lover of Icelandic music now as well? Um, I like Ausgir. Ausgir Tristi. Yep. So we've seen him twice in England been to two of the concerts in England, like his music, 
and um, there's some of the other ones I like as well but I can't understand a lot <laughs> of them so I hear different words yeah. and that's the problem <laughs> I see but, but I'm having them explained to you <laughs> well um, tonight you're going to be seeing Step Bend Avi we're here at Greine Hatterin. how excited are you? I keep bouncing <laughs> so excited very bouncy she is <laughs> really excited really good I, I can't believe it still until I actually see them I won't believe it that I will actually see them but. you'll probably get to like be quite close to them as well um, and parked at the front <laughs> <laughs> you're here very early oh yeah <laughs> and uh, can I ask you um, finally what's your favourite Icelandic song if oh. you had to name one you can name two <laughs> Dreimur um Nina. Dreimur um Nina. Dreimur um Nina. Yeah. Step Could you, do you know the lyrics? Yeah, but I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to try. <laughs> no, I actually bought the sheet music uh, yesterday in the, in the Reykjavik because I want to learn to play it on the piano. So I found it on the sheet music. So. Okay, well, the next time that you're here, uh, we'll do the interview in Icelandic oh, and you you'll have taught him as well I'll do it in German with you. <laughs> all right and um, and then maybe you'll give us a little example of Dremur uh, Nina <laughs> now you'll never come back <laughs> be careful yes oh no 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 we're back in November yes and back in December and back in January yeah and you've booked the concert for yeah. all these there's hopefully. nothing nothing booked for November yet but it's my birthday but December December there's one booked uh, hopefully and then January hopefully going to see Steve Hackett with at Todd Mobile. Todd Mobile mm-hmm. at Harper. So um, I'm a big Genesis fan, so uh, hopefully going to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.